Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the prof assistant professor of emergency medicine of Istanbul Yetebe University of Turkey and founder chairman of Turkey Search and Rescue Society. I'm going to share some of our experiences about uh, how we can uh, protect ourselves during the earthquake. First of all, I'm going to, I'm going to ask uh, some question. Any of you, when you feel the first murmurs of the earthquake, shaking of the earthquake, how do you act? What are you doing? Any of you answering, answering this question? When you feel the shaking, you don't do anything? What are you doing when you feel the, maybe you? Never happened. Where are you from? Hungary. Hungary. And you're lucky. <laughs> we have lots of falls. Any of you? When you feel the earthquake, what are you doing? Okay, that's the point. Lots of countries, they don't have any experience about the earthquakes. Some of them, they have experience about earthquakes, but they have high standard buildings. The problem is starting with the poor constructed buildings like developing countries like Turkey. Unfortunately, we are copying without questioning what should we do when we feel the first shaking for the murmurs of earthquake in the developing or undeveloped countries. We are copying without questioning developed countries, high building standard countries, actions, individual actions, and the problem is starting. Rational prevention methods against possible crash injuries to the collapsing buildings have been considered in the light of the field and simulation experience. The gain and suggestions have been presented to reduce mortality and morbidity. We have on-site experiences and also uh, some simulation experience about that. Action plans, as I mentioned before, developed countries with higher building standards which construct buildings that would not collapse in case of earthquakes and similar disasters. For example, in Japan, the last earthquake, nine magnitude earthquake, a couple of people died second to the earthquake. I'm not talking about tsunami, but same size, same strongest earthquake, it happened in the developing countries or undeveloped countries, it's gonna be a huge disaster. Hundreds of thousands of people will die. We are not questioning when we are taking this type of behaviors. We did simulations also from 1992 as a search and rescue man. We observed, not only in Turkey, but abroad, the big earthquakes. This is the, our team's rescued people, 100, more than 100 people. All the copying from the developed countries, uh, individual actions. This is from FEMA website uh, photographs that uh, you can see in the Japan. Take cover under the study desk or table, hold on the desk or table legs to that to that. These are protect yourself only the fallen objects from the ceilings or walls. But if you are living under the poor constructed buildings, as you know, it looks like a, aiming from the umbrella under the storm. They cannot protect yourselves because lots of people dying with the big organ injuries, head and neck injuries. When you are uh, drop cover and hold on, that is, I will talk about later, where we get this knowledge. This is the really interesting route, this knowledge. It's coming from the Cold War period, just after the World War II. That's the uh, Nebraska University Library, is, as you see that. I think it's the laser. Yeah. 50 years, uh, back to Turtle, the turtles uh, emergency action is that they try to cover if they feel any danger. All the way uh, copying from the emergency action plans of individuals. Drop, cover, and hold on. You see, this behavior coming from the nuclear blast, not from the tsunami or earthquakes, but they copy it all the way, look at that, in case of nuclear attack. And then, they think that it's good for the tornado, even in the tsunami. It's ridiculous. These are lots of myths surrounding us, and they are coming originally from this Cold War period. Ducking and covering, and then convert to duck, drop cover and hold on. Look, nuclear blast, and if you see the flash, duck and cover. They are still doing that, but 
if you are living poor constructed building, this behavior cannot protect yourself. You will die under the rebels. Look, tsunami. They offer drink a tsunami also. Lots of uh, photographs I have at my individual library. I cannot share all, most of them with respect to their lives, but these are, you can not see the face. There's enough place when you are laying down in an embryo, fetus position, instead of this dark and color. Because this victim died the secondary to the big organ traumas, head and neck trauma. But there's an enough place here to survive. Same things, look, ceilings and floor. There's enough place. If you stay there, instead of that uh, fetus embryo position, because you need only hip height. That's enough, 40, 45 centimeters, instead of one meter, 90 centimeters. We did a simulation. We put some dummies inside, the, already decided to uh, destroy the building, because without permission, they erected this building. We marked the floors and seals and the uh, dummies, and we saw that where is the safety place. We checked them. It's definitely, I can say, under the table, under the desk, that cannot protect the dummies also. You should be close to fulfill of, for example, uh, wooden boxes or some beds. You can, beside of them, you have a chance to survive. Like that. Because the main uh, protecting uh, objects of the collapsed building are vertical and horizontal parts of the cement, uh, cements, I mean uh, columns, vertical columns. With their help, they can provide enough space. We'll see our confined space rescue efforts during the, after the earthquake. All the metals and the households uh, under the uh, crashed building, they have a, look, this is the position. You don't need earthquake pack, this is another meat. At that time, during this period, you just need a bottle of water and cell phone. Cell phone is an amazing object, amazing uh, device that we can reach the people if they are stuck under the rebels, because today's technology allows us to detect them and focus them and fix them where are they living. That's the position. Minimize targeting instead of drop, cover, and hold on when you're laying down like fetus posture, just hip length. And lots of vertical elements of the building also help us, provide us enough space for, for survive. Yeah, that's the point. Copying the plans without questioning is not a good choice. US and Japan's building standards doesn't look like a developing and undeveloped country's building standards. Fertus Persian, that all the victims, all the rescued that we saw, they can uh, get away from the rebels. They stayed under the rebels with this position. There are lots of benefits of this position. You can prevent yourself hypothermia, earthquakes, uh, wouldn't happen only in the summertime, also can be happen in the wintertime. Hypothermia, when you're lying, you're stuck, hours and hours, day by day, can uh, get a lethal your body uh, metabolism. And it's a kind of recovery position. Everybody knows in the first aid trainings, it's prevent asphyxia if you're staying for a long time. You can stay there for this position. Looks like a, all the mammals that they are passing all the winter times is a hibernation. Because sometimes that we have a five days rescued people at. Uh, our uh, country is earthquake and Taiwan earthquake. Uh, you have a chance to uh, survive when you are keeping your metabolism in the basal conditions. That's the point. 40 centimeters is enough to survive because lots of vertical and horizontal elements of the buildings also can help, can provide enough space to survive under the rebel. We should consider worse condition if the uh, building collapses as a pancake. If nothing happened, just cover with the book and get away the building. That's the way, that's the point. When you feel the shake, if you are living in the first floor, basement floor, or second floor, I mean, you check before, how can I evacuate the building in a 15 minutes? That's the point, get away the building. 
But if not, if you are living eight, nine, ten floor of the building, you should be minimize your body for targeting. Okay. Also, crash injuries, crash syndrome is a secondary uh, life-threatening situation. The secondary reason of the dying the people, and uh, uh, this position at least protect your uh, kidneys against the crash syndrome. Yes, staying under the desk and tables. Looks like I'm expecting shelter from an umbrella during a severe storm. It doesn't work. OK, we should be a little bit quick that they warn me. These are the rebels. There's lots of dozen meats. Look, stay in a bed. This is another myth. We cover with a pillow in high IT photographs. You'll die in a bed if you cannot instead of lying beside of the bed. Another picture. You will die if you cover your pillow. Looks like a uh, like another myth. Uh, Earth capex. You don't need that. Move. You should decide before what I will do. I ask you. Lady from Hungary, they don't have experience about the earthquake. You are right, but if you have experience about the earthquake, you don't need the earthquake pack. This is another myth. Get away, this is coming from the Second World War, London bombing, metro, metro culture. This is a metro culture. Look, you should change in a three months, hundreds of dollars, packs. Still they have radios, still they have lots of uh, kings. All right, it's almost done. I need a couple of... There's nothing comparable with the saving labs. Thank you very much for being with me during the lunchtime. Any question? I need question. Ignite me. No more question? Okay. If you believe that, please spread this knowledge, okay? Thank you very much.